Hey folks, Chris here, just continuing the Automator series with uh, 102, uh, using Automator to resize and rename images. Okay, so maybe here's the situation. You've got uh, some images that maybe you want to use on your blog or a website somewhere, but you need to resize them because uh, maybe the the resizing app or the site you're uploading them to doesn't do a good job of resizing. It's less of an issue these days as most uh, CMSs like WordPress, etc., Facebook or whatever tend to resize images for you. But just for the sake of argument, and maybe you have another use for this somewhere else, you might want to resize images. So starting with Automator, we're going to choose Workflow. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I guess just to preface this, I've got my photos that I need to resize in this folder on my desktop. And so it's just your basic bunch of Instagram photos that I grabbed. These actually aren't that big to begin with, so they don't really need to be resized, but just so I have something to use. So the first thing we're going to do is get those items. I need to tell Automator what I want to work with. So I'm going to use the method of get selected items uh, from the finder and so that's this guy right here drag it in so what that's going to do is whatever it happens to be the actively selected files or documents or items in the finder is what automator is going to work with so I can go to my folder right now you can do this later too before you hit run but I'm going to go to my folder right now and and select them all so there they go they're all selected next thing I am going to do is scale those images so I can get rid of that and look for an action called scale images. So you could crop them if you wanted. You could have it automatically create thumbnails, but I want to actually scale it to a certain size. So what it does now is asks you, because it's going to be changing those files, it asks you, do you want to make a copy of them? So you have the original still and then the, the new version, or do you want to just uh, change the originals and away you go? In this case, I don't care. These are copies of the files already. So I'm going to just uh, not add a copy finder item action to the, the workflow. Uh, your mileage may vary. So right now the images I know are about 600 pixels so just for argument's sake let's say I want to change them to around half of that so it'll just change height width to a maximum of being 300 pixels high or wide and then while I'm doing this as you can see they're all just a bunch of random names I want to rename those files so that um, it's easier to find and easier to use so I'm going to use the make sequential action which is uh, rename finder items now I guess that's a new change in mountain line um, the again I can add a copy because I don't if I want to keep the originals again I don't really care in this case so I'm not going to add um, so what I'm going to do is this, you can change the name based on a bunch of different factor, factors options etc I'm going to actually I like to use the make sequential option here uh, give it a new name so you could add to the existing text already a new name called um, automator demo and I want to place a number after the name start at numbers at one separated by a dash you could do period underscore nothing etc I like to make all numbers two digits long because that then automatically adds a zero so it helps for sorting because otherwise you get 10 showing up next to one if you don't have those two digits in in a finder list um, the last option I'll show you now just to keep it very basic but if you wanted to for some reason uh, change the file type um, you can do that, uh, sorry, change type of images is what I'm looking for. And again, I don't want to add a copy, but so these particular ones are JPEG, which are already fairly compressed, uh, but you could change it, for example, to being a ping, uh, maybe a lower quality JPEG if you wanted to. Uh, no, sorry, you can't do that in this. So again, I've got the files all selected here. Go back to Automator, double check my settings here and hit run. And you'll see it actually go through, change everything. So they're all now done. Uh, it's a PNG file extension. The file name has been changed to Automator Demo. And if I look at the images now, they're all much smaller uh, than the, what they were previously. And so then they're ready to go to my website or app or whatever I wanted to do. And you could do this on a folder of hundreds or thousands of images if you wanted. Um, and just saves you a bunch of time pulling them into iPhoto or Pixelmator or whatever app and, and doing it all manually.
So thanks for watching. You can click the link below to subscribe or look for the other video. There's Automator Basics 101, which is basically just renaming the files, which is kind of what we covered here. Uh, my name's Chris. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey folks, Chris here. Just, uh, hey folks, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to quickly show how I use Automator. This is Automator Basics 102. Continuing the Automator series with, I guess, session 10. Continuing the Automator series with, I guess, session 102 maybe.